Okay, this is the third video of my USB to uh, keyboard adapter <clears throat> for the Coco, or rather than a USB keyboard adapter for the Coco. Um, I've made some progress um, and it's very nice to use. It's very responsive and I feel confident now that I can make a small little circuit board um, that will work and will be usable. There are still a handful of bugs, very minor, but again, this is very usable. It's very responsive and I'll, I'll just uh, show you here real fast. And we're gonna write a little program. I'm not a very good typer, so bear with me. See how it spilled better. Okay. Um, it's like I said, it's very responsive. I can type away, you know, and it it doesn't complain. It, nothing happens to it. Um, I see. I can press two letters at once, and they will both come up. Um, the shift key works, as you saw. Okay. Um, I did add a caps lock figure. I'm sorry, feature, not figure. That works. And then another thing that works is, uh, you know, I can just pull this out here and swap out USB keyboards. And so right now I'm going to put in a wireless USB keyboard I have. And here's a little dongle for it. And here it is, and I had this in the other video. And my TV just turned off because it's broken. And it does that occasionally, but that's okay. The Coco is still on. The Arduino is still going. And, you know, as you can see, I can, I can type away and it works. Okay. Oops, can't see what I'm typing. There we go. That's this keyboard. And then another cool thing that just works out of the box. I guess because this thing is designed to understand HID devices. Um, uh, you know, if you have a PS2 keyboard lying around, you can use one of these USB to PS2 adapters. And it just understands it out of the box. Now I have a keyboard here that I borrowed. And I'll show you the keyboard right here. And it is a PS2 keyboard. Not a keyboard and trackpad. So it's kind of a keyboard here, which I believe is this one. And you'll see that um, it just works. So I've made some progress and I'm happy with the results. And so soon I'll be putting together a small little board that I will put the design files up on GitHub along with the code to get it to work. And I plan on making these boards and you know if anybody wants to buy one that would be fantastic because I can just pump that back into my hobby anyways um, yeah this is a good video thanks